It's a lovely sunny day here at Stowhill Wharf and here comes Hillhouse & Co. She's a 60 foot semi-trad built in 2002 by Reading Marine on a Reeves hull. She was last blacked in January 2021, including the bow thruster tube. There's a Noble 6 horsepower hydraulic bow thruster at the front there. And there was a survey in July 2015, which is available for viewing in the office should anyone wish. She's got a rather unusual back deck design, which we'll have a closer look at as we go round. But you can see there that it opens up. That was designed originally to well, to get a motorbike on the back for easier access and for the storage of the motorbike. Um, now, obviously, it just gives you a sort of step-free access from the towpath if, if that's required. There are two solar panels on the roof. It's estimated at 200 watts of solar and there is a solar charge controller. I'm going to struggle to get in the front here. Step over that big gap. There we are. Into the well deck. The well deck is four foot four. There are lockers either side glazed cratch board and the gas locker is forward. There are four 3.9 propane bottles in that gas locker with a changeover valve. Storage under both of the seats either side. It comes with all the relevant navigation equipment, windlass, piling irons, mooring pins, ropes, fenders. There's even a hose there for you as well. There is a demountable table that sits in the saloon which can also be mounted out here in the well deck glazed forward stable doors and into the saloon we go. The saloon is 11 foot 3, head height on board is 6 foot 6 and it's mostly LED lighting. You've got two single chair beds which obviously become single beds when needed. The sides also come off and they can be connected together to form a double berth. Obviously you saw the Houdini and the side hatches there. You've got a cupboard here that's a 240 Technica 21 inch TV there, car stereo behind it, satellite box inside that cupboard. There's a self-seeking satellite dish on the roof which is connected to that. There is plenty of storage here, you could use that as a wardrobe if you've got guests. Def uh, reflex diesel stove, little CD rack. Screens, um, acrylic screens and fly screens for both of the side hatches. The galley is eight foot four, little wine rack on the wall there. This is a Zanussi fridge and freezer unit. So you've got the freezer on the left hand side and the fridge on the right. That'll make it ideal for cooking and entertaining and storing everything you need. Stainless steel sink cupboard over that's got an extractor fan in there that is a Electrolux extractor fan over the Siemens two burner gas hob drawers under same again here that's under the sink and another cupboard no pulling out cupboardy things there sorry James Covered over for your glasses and then a couple more shelves. Here there is a microwave, a new world oven and grill. And then in this large cupboard here, you've got a twin tub style washing, washer dryer. There is also the plumbing and the electrics installed for a more permanent washing machine if that's what you're after. And more storage under the gunnels. In we go into the master bathroom. This is five foot five. It's a nice big bath with a shower over. That's a vacuum flush pump out loo, heated towel rail. And on the other side, we've got a ceramic wash basin and there is a cupboard underneath that. She's fitted out throughout the boat an oak face ply with oak trim, which you've probably gathered. And then there is carpet through most of the boat and vinyl in the bathroom and galley. Blinds and fly screens for all the portholes. And into the bedroom. Bedroom is nine foot one. It's wardrobes either side of the bed. That is a cross bed. It is six foot one by five feet when it's fully laid out. 
pump out tanks under there and there's a bit of storage on the left hand side as well which I forgot to show you. Shelves over and then you've got your other wardrobe and a little cupboard underneath that. In here as well you've also got a 240 volt Alba 16 inch TV for watching TV in bed and a cupboard under there. As I said plenty of storage. Then you've got another bathroom, well, another loo room with another vacuum flush loo, ceramic basin, and there is also an emergency Thetford porta potty on the other side. So obviously these doors close off to give you privacy before going into the stern cabin. The stern cabin is five foot three. It sort of would be an engine room, but obviously without the engines. You've got all your electrics in here, really well maintained, tidy electrics board, loads of spares on board as well for maintaining the engine. You've got more cupboards and wardrobe space, shelves here, and then rather cleverly tucked into this space as well you've got a single cross bed so that folds out over the steps there to give you another single berth. She's, so this, she sleeps she can sleep five if that's what you uh, that's what you need with the chair beds, the single berth, and the double fixed cross bed. Out onto the semi trad deck, and the engine is housed below. That's a Beta Forty Three. It's silenced and cocooned, and it really is quiet. I can't emphasise enough how quiet that is. You wouldn't even know that it was running. A couple of lockers here. Just plastic manoeuvrable things. Obviously they can be taken off when you need to get better access to the engine bay. Have a view from the helm. And then let's have a better look at this side access. So this is on both sides. Just a door from the side that moves across. It locks as well so you've got privacy. There's a tonneau cover for the back here as well so it can all be protected from the elements makes getting on and on off nice and easy. And back in we go. She's centrally heated by an Eberspacher diesel fired system connected to three radiators and two towel rails. Hot water is via the engine and the Eberspacher and it is an integral 450 litre water tank. There is an integral 195 litre fuel tank. There are four 150 amp hour AGM domestic batteries with a separate starter and 240 volt power is via a 2 kilowatt master volt inverter and there is a separate 80 amp master volt marine charger and landline hookup. So there we have it. This is Hill House & Co. Hopefully I'll make it across. Yep. And for further photos, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, visit our website at rugbyboats.co.uk.